one paper, we're still on practice paper one. Uh, and we've got some information here, and I've got some floor tiles. So one tile covers a quarter of a square meter, or 0.25 square meters. Um, we get them in different colors, not very useful. Only £1.85 per tile. And in small print, it says it's recommended you buy enough tiles to cover 5% extra area to allow for wastage. Okay. So Ethan wants to buy some tiles, and he's got um, 15 square meters. Okay. So, well, if we get 15 square meters, Fifteen square meters is going to mean that um, you're going to need sixty tiles because that's I got that from doing fifteen times four with sixteen. And the reason I times it by four, I want to cover fifteen square meters, but only each one tile only covers a quarter of a square meter. So to cover every square meter, I need four tiles. So that means I need four lots of fifteen, which is sixty. Okay. Now, now if I know I need 60 tiles, I need to get, before I price it up, I need 5% extra area. 5% extra area. So, if I work out that, well, I know that 100% is 60 tiles. So, I can then work out what 50% is. That's going to be 30 tiles. And then I know I need to find an extra... Oh, 5%. That's probably not the best thing to do, sorry. So let's not do 50%. Let's find 10%. So that's 6 tiles. And then I want 5% extra area, don't I? So now instead of dividing by 10, which is what I did here, I need to just halve it. So half of 6 is 3 tiles. So half of 6 is 3 tiles. So I need an extra 3 tiles. So I need extra three tiles okay and I reckon that you need two uh, to get two extra marks for that so I need 63 tiles in total so I need to do the calculation 63 times one pound 85 because that's how much each tile is and then you can just do that on your calculator and it comes up with 116 pounds and 55 pence and that will be your final fifth mark okay so it's important you just work slowly and logically and you use the information you've got there so you might want to pause it or replay it and go through it again and check you understand